Here's my thing about a lot of the things that I hear about black men when they start talking about what an average female is. And when we start talking about the concept of leadership, when you are a leader inside of a community, your community is more than one person. And whoever is in close proximity to you, you have to start putting on these leadership roles. So if you meet these average chicks, you can choose to allow her to continue to be average or you can put in your leadership skills and your resources and encourage her to be better if you are a man okay now I'm not saying that every woman is going to be out there okay with that because there's plenty of women I'm noticing nowadays that don't even trust men black men to lead them anymore okay because we've been through so much and a lot of these women weren't even raised by men a lot of these women didn't even have decent fathers they didn't even have any positive male role models so they don't know anything about what it feels like to have a man in their life who actually cares about them I, I can only imagine what y'all dealing with because when I'm sitting here as a life coach dealing with these women and I hear them just have like this nonchalant attitude when it comes to being what a woman needs to be for a man I get it like I can't even imagine being a man dating right now and it's the same thing with women like I can't even imagine y'all dating some of these men right now it's just like for some reason a lot of men don't even want to tap into their leadership skills or they don't have any leadership skills or resources. They don't even know how to be better men. And they believe that the bare minimum that they putting out into the street is what th them doing a woman a favor. You feel me? Like <laughs> just, just taking you out on a date and paying for the date. It's the same thing with women. It's, it's like, if you don't take me on a date and you don't pay for this date and you don't take me somewhere better than damn Denny's, then that means you don't want us to interact anymore. And it's just like everything is so transactional with everybody and, and nobody wants to really do the work to get like a genuine partnership going here. So to me, as a black man, when you want to be treated like a king and you want to be in these leadership roles with these women, you have to give women the opportunity to like, experience what that feels like a lot of y'all don't even want to show that to a woman or, or don't even know what it is find out whether or not you are even even in a leadership role find out if you even have the resources to be classified as a leader like what is a leader to you what is a king to you how should a woman be treating you you feel me and if you're this amazing man okay how how do you show that you are an amazing man? You don't show that you are an amazing man or an amazing man by like just taking and taking and taking and not giving. You're not an amazing man if you don't have the resources to be able to give. You aren't a leader of anything, not even your family or the community, if you don't even feel comfortable with being generous about the resources that you have. There is so much self, there is, I'm sorry, there is so much selfishness going on inside of our community. Everything, everybody thinks that this shit is normal with everybody just walking around here preaching this self-care shit when it's really just them abusing the concept of self-care like self-care was just supposed to be people making sure they did what they needed to do for themselves like pray meditate you know manic pedic whatever right now it's just like people think that self-care means i gotta be selfish and i just don't give a fuck about how anybody else feels they call me a Mm-hmm. <laughs>